Okay, this is the new uh, Yamaha EF6300ISDE inverter generator. Um, I've had it about two weeks. Thought I'd make a little video because I didn't see any videos on the 6300 on YouTube. Um, you're looking, it has an hour meter, a power meter across the top, um, oil alert to the left, the AC switch when it's running, lets you know that the AC's on, the inverter's working, and then of course an overload. Um, does have a uh, GFI receptacle there with a 20 amp breaker above it. It's got a circle around it. And then over here are your um, 120, 240 outlet. There's a 120, 30 amp and I believe that's a 240 30 amp as well. And below that is economy switch where the generator will um, seek the right RPM to match the uh, load. Um, and then to the bottom of that, the very bottom right hand corner, there's a fuel shutoff valve and then the electric start. I do have my, my uh, cable plugged into it now because uh, I am going to start it and let you hear it. But before we do that, I thought I'd just walk around it real quick. Um, one of the big complaints that I was, when I was researching this, was the four fixed wheels in a straight line there. They don't swivel. Um, the generator is 200 pounds. So it is heavy to pick up and to, you know, to store, to move by the wall. You have to pick it up and kind of jockey it into position. Uh, mufflers on this side. You'll notice that I have a wire coming out of the bottom. There was a hole there that seemed real handy. Because there is no pull start on this, and there is a battery, it's got a 12 volt, 18 amp hour Yeshua battery inside that you have to connect when it comes, uh, when you buy it new, that is. Um, I felt that if it just sat for long periods of time, which emergency generators typically do, um, I didn't want to have a dead battery. so. Um, I guess that's the only downside I don't like. You know, it'd be kind of a kind of stink if you had a power outage and you couldn't start the darn thing. You'd have to jump it, I guess. Um, gas caps here. It's got a nice little chain attaching it uh, so you don't lose it. There is a strainer in there. It is four and a half gallons of regular gasoline. It has a nice fuel gauge here. So you see how much fuel's in there. The runtime is absolutely ridiculous on this thing. That's because it doesn't have to run at 3,600 RPM like a traditional um, generator. I will start it up now. I do have it connected to a load inside the house uh, through my transfer switch, so we'll start it. This has been sitting cold. This is right out of the box, kind of, uh, well, right out of storage. I mean, like I said, I have I've had it two weeks, but here we go. We'll start it. We'll just listen to it. So there it is on, and we'll give it a start. You have to have the economy switch off when you start it. Starts right up. That's pretty quiet. Now I'll throw the economy switch. Hit the idle right down. Um, if you have like an electric motor, you'll probably have to leave that on uh, for the high draw when it first starts. Uh, those electric motors do draw a lot of current, so that's why they have that economy switch according to the owner's manual. But here I've got a, just a Gentran switch over here. I do have it hooked to a 220 load. I'll throw the switch now. You can hear the generator rev up. And I'm pulling about 2,000 watts on one of the legs and about 1,700 maybe on the other. If you go back over here to the generator, you can see how much power I'm pulling now by the LEDs there. Basically, it. That's the uh, Yamaha 6300 generator. Um, real nice piece. Uh, it, it is expensive, but uh, if you can afford it, um, the quality is certainly worth it. Um, so that's it.